Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Soda2 aka Bint Fatima. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a get to know me slash answering Instagram questions that you guys left me. I had posted two stories on Instagram asking that people ask me questions about myself or just questions in general, literally anything, and I will be answering those. There are some questions that were asked to me that were really good questions, but I thought that like maybe they would require a whole video for me to answer those questions. And these questions are questions related to my hijab story, career, life goals, and things of that nature. So because my answers would be really long-winded because I'd be talking forever, um, I'm gonna set those questions aside for a different video. So stay tuned, inshallah. If you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. When I watch other YouTubers' videos, usually they're always just like smash that like button smash that subscribe button it's just like whoa buddy if I smash it then my computer's gonna get messed up why don't we just gently tap it so gently tap on that subscribe button if you end up liking this video please let me know that you liked it so I can continue to put out content like this gently tap on that like button leave me a comment down below I actually get really excited anytime I get a notification that someone left a comment so please leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on this video any other questions that you may have i also have an instagram if you want to follow me watch my stories see what i post and i have a tumblr if you're really into like aesthetically pleasing blogs check mine out it's really aesthetic like super aesthetic i promise so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna start answering these questions what made you want to start a youtube channel I've wanted to start a YouTube channel since probably high school. High school is when I started wearing hijab and I started watching like hijab tutorials. I started really getting into YouTube, watching all kinds of videos. I would get lost in the rabbit hole of YouTube, but I really just enjoyed seeing people create content that they genuinely were passionate about, that they liked, that they could just talk and share their opinions. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I've always wanted to have a YouTube because I feel like I have a lot of opinions and I have a lot of things to say. Another reason is just because I feel like I've seen a lot of Muslim women on this platform. I've seen a lot of black women on this platform, but I feel like black Muslim women don't get as much visibility. And so I want to kind of be one of those people that adds to the adds to the what do I call it? <laughs> the wealth of resources and knowledge that already exists on this platform for black Muslim women. Um, I think sometimes we we as black Muslim women or black women or women in general, we're kind of lumped into this monolith and everybody kind of assumes that we've had the same exact experiences, we've had, we have the same exact thoughts on everything, we literally think the same, we have the same personalities. So I'm kind of like out here to just like add a little spice to the, a little spice, a little salt to the, <laughs> to the pot and just hopefully being able to represent a group of Muslim women and girls in this world and letting somebody see that on their screen will hopefully motivate them and allow them to know that like they can do literally anything that they want in life. Next question, drop the skincare routine sis. I use um, Trader Joe's honey and oatmeal bar soap to wash my face and I use a sweet almond oil as a moisturizer and in the winter time I would layer it with vegetable glycerin just to help the oil absorb into my skin. As of late, I've also added raw honey into my skincare routine. It's been like maybe a year or maybe less since I've started using it. I use it as a face mask but I also sometimes use it like as a face scrub. I notice that when I do my skincare routine at night, the next day my skin feels so supple and good versus like in the morning, it takes a while for the oil to like absorb. So yeah, that's that's what I do. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who is about to graduate college? Advice that I, I wish I received and that I'll be giving is that to just like be patient with yourself, be understanding of yourself as in don't rush yourself into getting into things. Don't rush yourself into meeting certain criteria, certain milestones by a certain point. Just because you've graduated, just because you got your degree, it doesn't mean that it makes everything easier. Getting a job is not as easy just because you have a degree and figuring out what it is exactly that you want to do in life doesn't become easier just because you graduated so just be patient with yourself and your process take your time on your journey understand that like everybody is on a different page on their journey and i know we hear that all the time but genuinely do not compare yourself to anybody else even if they majored in the same thing as you even if y'all graduated the same exact day as each other do not compare yourself to anyone else take your time get to know yourself get to figure out what it is you want from life enjoy the roses 
just, I don't know, take a breath and just realize that at the end of the day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got you and your process, your journey is going to be worthwhile and hopefully you grow and you learn a lot about yourself from it. But yeah, my biggest advice would definitely be to just be patient with yourself and be understanding as you go through like the process of finding work or figuring out your next moves once you graduate. Next question, how are you so patient and sweet? SubhanAllah. Okay, SubhanAllah, let me just start out by saying that I am definitely far from perfect, okay? And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make me better than what you assume of me and forgive me for the things that you do not know about me, I mean, I think I just fake patience, honestly. I just be acting like I'm wusa all the time. I be acting like I'm just zen, I'm okay all the time. But most of the time there's storm brewing inside that like I just be wanting to scream. But then I remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching and there's angels that like jot down everything that I do. So I'm gonna need to chill, okay? I guess I'm sweet because my parents are sweet. <laughs> what are you passionate about? I think I'm most passionate about human rights, uh, social justice issues. I just really care about people just being treated like people, like on a large scale or on a small scale, people should be treated like human beings because that's what we are. Um, so with kindness and compassion and love, I think that's what people should be treated with and that's what I'm really passionate about. Where are you from? I'm from Senegambia. Senegal and Gambia. Um, a lot of people, I think, I'm not sure if people know, like we are different countries. We have different looking flags, but we literally have the same languages, the same cultural groups. We wear the same clothes. We celebrate the same holidays. We eat the same food. Like literally we're, we are the same. The only difference is that we was colonized by different Europeans and they try to mess us up. And now we out here trying to claim Senegal versus Gambia. Like I'm both because my mom is from Gambia. My dad is from Senegal. And so I had the privilege of growing up with both cultures in my household. So yeah, I'm Senegambian. Check it up on the map if you haven't seen it. <laughs> Next question, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one older sister and two younger brothers. Who are your favorite YouTubers? As of right now, my favorite YouTubers are Kenny JD, Brie Hall, Nadira P, Mungchi, and Record Parks. <laughs> my head isn't. <laughs> Next question, what qualities are you looking for in a husband? Of course, because I am Muslim, I follow the sunnah of the Prophet I would look for a man who has good character, strong deen and all that kind of stuff. But also, let's not forget, we were also recommended to be with somebody who we find to be attractive. So that is a quality that I'm looking for in a husband. Like, you could have great character, you could have great deen, but if I'm not attracted to you, then like, brother, why are we talking? I also look for kindness, someone who is funny because I actually have friends who crack me up. So if you can't make me laugh, then like, why did we get married? Why are you here? What is one motto you live by? Fall down seven times, stand up eight. Mm. What inspires you? What inspires me the most? Seeing people who are genuinely just chasing after their dreams and things that they love and the things that they're passionate about, that inspires me a lot like a lot people in the past as well as people currently where do you see yourself in five years probably traveling eating good food relaxing at the beach is it true that you no longer live in maryland no it's not true i had made plans to leave maryland but the timing wasn't right and i also just felt like i had a couple things that i needed to figure out internally first uh eventually i would like to leave maryland but right now i'm still here so what toothpaste do you use <laughs> Arm and Hammer uh, Peroxy Care. Oh, my homework, how I'm not gonna ask. I'm not in school no more, I don't do nobody's homework. What are your favorite anime shows, movies? Actually, I've never really gotten into anime ever. I was more of a manga girl, like I read animes basically, but the only anime that I've watched as of recent is Naruto and I really liked it just because I think it has a really good storyline and Kakashi is just too cool. He's too cool for school. I didn't get really deep into it, but I really enjoyed it. The episodes that I watched. My favorite show right now is Itaewon Class. Itaewon Class. Go watch it because my husband's in it. My husband. <laughs> and my favorite movies that I've watched recently is Parasite and Just Mercy because I think they were like commentaries on social ills and social societal problems that we need to fix how do you stay grounded in tough times i think how i stay grounded in tough times is just remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it's 
it's so easily said and not as easily done. I also try to surround myself with people that remind me of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when times are tough. So my friend group, my family, they're very like spiritually grounded, Allah Mubarak. And so when I'm having a tough time, I just call them up. I text them, I ask them for advice. I also try to refer back to the Quran. My Arabic understanding is not like that great, but I can always search up English translations. So I search up English translations of surahs that I know are of like prophets or notable people like Maryam alayha salam, their stories and how they went through difficulty and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped them through that difficulty. And it just reminds me that like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who was the Lord of those people is also the Lord of me. And that sentence made no grammatical sense, but that is how I stay grounded is just remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me. Other times what I do to help me stay grounded is that I just rest. I take a break. I sleep in. I eat food that makes me feel good, I watch shows that make me laugh, I read old diary entries from when times were good. Uh, I just take a break and I think that's necessary when we are going through rough times because I feel like we always kind of have this pressure on ourselves to always be okay, but it's okay not to be okay, especially when things are difficult, it's okay not to be okay. So yeah, that's how I stay grounded. How was high school? High school was fun. I think I had a really good group of friends. Honestly, my high school experience was pretty positive. Like I feel like when I watched dramas or shows or whatever, high school was so dramatic and so extra, but for me it wasn't, it was just chill. It was chill. I took nice classes. I had wonderful teachers. We ate good food. We went on field trips. I can't, do we go on field trips? I'm probably lying. You just kidding, we did go on field trips. It was good. My high school was a good experience. Okay, favorite thing about Senegal. I think my favorite thing about Senegal is that everybody's usually like outside and everybody knows everybody. You know your neighbors, your neighbors know you, they know your kids, they know your grandkids, they know your great great grandparents. So I think I like that because it kind of gives a sense of community and everything's just like chill. Nobody's really stressed about anything. When will you go back to Africa? The last time I went to Senegal was 2013. I was born there, came here in 2001, and I haven't, I didn't go back till 2013, so it's been a minute. So I would really like to go back sometime this year, inshallah. Do you plan to go back to grad school? Yes, inshallah, I do want to go back to grad school. Do you have any new pet peeves? My biggest pet peeve is people who are inconsiderate, people who do things without considering other people. And I know I've probably been there, done that, so I apologize to those people. But now it's kind of just like, especially adults, like if you're a full grown adult and you're inconsiderate, it's just like, what did you do, my baby? Peeve, how to stay hopeful. I think kind of like going back to that question about how to stay grounded during difficult times. I think just like remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, speaking to people who give you positive messages and remind you of good things, finding social media accounts or YouTubers or videos that remind you to be positive, remind you to be hopeful. And just remember that like at the end of the day, so long as there's air coming in and out of your lungs, hope is never lost. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has got you, you're good. So I think that's how I would stay hopeful. And that's easy to say when everything's good. It's difficult to do when things are hard but yeah that would be my advice for how to stay hopeful uh what are some of your favorite and least favorite foods i'm very ethnocentric i'm not even gonna say can't lie but my favorite foods are senegalese foods um yasa cheb uh kaldu those are all senegalese dishes maybe one day i might teach you guys how to cook it i don't know because i'm a chef and i really like ethiopian food as well i really like darawat and there's another one i don't know the name of it but I just like Ethiopian food. Those are some of my favorite foods. And my least favorite foods are foods that are like not well seasoned or... Oh. And I also don't like chicken with skin on it unless it's fried. Like Last question. Where are some places you want to travel to? Uh, as of right now, a place that I really want to travel to is South Korea. Just because I've been learning Korean, so I would like to put my Korean into practice. And I also want to travel a lot of different countries in Africa, countries where like my friends are from. So Ethiopia, Sudan, Egypt, Morocco, South Africa, all those kind of countries I want to visit. I basically want to visit all the countries in the world, but those are some of my like top places. And anywhere where it's tropical and warm and there's beaches, I'm there. Okay, that was it for my get to know me questions video. I really hope you guys got to know me a little bit more. I hope I answered your questions. And if you haven't already, please click on that subscribe button. Also click on the bell notification so you can be notified every single time that I post, inshallah. Like the video if you liked it. 
leave me a comment down below follow me on instagram so you can get updates and inshallah i'll catch you in the next one i know things are kind of crazy out here with the coronavirus now, so everybody stay safe wash your hands lave la main okay wash your hands and cover your coughs and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all keep us all safe heal those who are sick and grant us goodness from all of this ameen i'll catch you guys in the next one till then salam peace and love Thank <music> you.